Brian, the mouth thing. Do it! That's what lip service looks like at 634 frames a second. We're gonna try to film the world's smallest bird using the same technology. If that doesn't flood your basement, I don't know what will. Oh, it's good to be back in Louisiana. It's been a year since I've seen hummingbirds, and I'm glad we're kicking off the trip this way on a boat, cruising through the bayou, cruising through Cajun country. I love filming in the Southeast. It's no wonder why John James Audubon came to Louisiana. This place has so much inspiration. I couldn't imagine anywhere else where I'd rather spend a week right now than on the migratory path of the ruby-throated hummingbird. I know we're gonna see hundreds of them. I'm so stoked to be around them. Louisiana, baby, hummingbirds. It smells like Bigfoot took a dump in here and it's just fermenting. It's a, a great way to spend time with the hummingbirds. So I'm gonna be able to get a hummingbird right in my grill status. Just look me right between the deep caverns of my souls and just To be able to slow these things down, I can finally pick up what the hell all that chirping, chattering, all that clicking and clacking finally means. Look how aggressive this young male is, driving every other bird off of his flowers. I know he's a male because of that single iridescent feather he has under his throat. When he matures, he'll be striking a colorful mane. But right now, he showed up to the dinner party with nothing but a bow tie on. This little dude has already traveled over 5,000 miles on his annual migration. He's here chunking up before his last great push over the Gulf of Mexico. Hummingbirds consume double their body weight and calories every single day. It's a constant state of feeding and fighting. Just as he starts to establish his dominance on the battlefield, Mother Nature gets in on the fight. The rain shifts this Hummer's attention from fighting to feeding. An air temperature drop means an increase in his metabolic rate. This sends Hummers into overdrive. I couldn't imagine weighing three grams being this big and stuck in a downpour. Undeterred by the rain, every drop of nectar is a matter of life or death. With the rain and feeding done, he can finally rest. Other than the fact that hummingbirds are my spirit animal, another reason I love them is because they're natural pollinators. They literally breathe life into everything they come into contact with, making not only themselves, but the environment around them better. And they fly around spreading their population, putting it everywhere. Hummers, we are more alike than you know. may have just found the Fabio of jumping spiders. He is getting in there, and by in there, I mean in there. 